Space Opera is a science fiction role-playing game created by Edward E. Symbolist, A. Mark Ratner, and Phil McGregor in 1980 for Fantasy Games Unlimited. While the system is applicable to the whole genre of science fiction, space opera had a default setting intended to be used as generic science fiction role-playing game rules, the focus being on creating space opera-themed adventures. Space opera resolved to give gamers a system and universe which they could mold into any popular science fiction milieu, be it Star Wars, e.e. Doc. Smith's Lensman, Larry Niven's Known Space, Frank Herbert's June, Battlestar Galactica, Galactica 1980, etc. Space Opera also resolved to be a complete system. With the basic rules one got most everything one would need, in-depth character construction, sci-fi toys, equipment, aliens and robots, monsters, combat, planet and society creation, starship construction and combat. <laughs> <laughs> development According to the Scott Bazaar, the founder of FGU, I wanted a SFRPG and I gave the job to Ed Symbolist. During the process I've never met Ed, nor Phil McGregor and Mark Ratner, who lived in the Canadian West, Australia and the East of the USA, respectively. The project was completed over more than two years entirely by correspondence." Ed was responsible for all the editing and coordination. Phil McGregor sent some technology and spaceship-related stuff, which Ed liked so much that he incorporated it in the finished product. While the background universe was based on Mark Ratner's Space Marines, Mark had little input into space opera itself. Part of the Volume 1 introduction by Fantasy Games Unlimited owner Scott Bazaar describes this undertaking. Topic character creation Character creation is a long process in space opera, typically taking about an hour for a more experienced and in-depth character. While the number of random roles is limited, the player has wide discretion in how points are applied and many choices especially when it comes to skills. Players choose from the following character classes, armsman, astronaut, tech with subclasses such as armstech or crimetech, and scientist pure researcher, medical researcher, physician, and engineering subclasses. The classes are especially important where bonuses can be applied to personal characteristics and later ease the cost to acquire skills. Space opera characters are supposed to be larger than life. As such their personal characteristics average out higher than the common man, for each of the 14 personal characteristics a d100 is rolled. These are physique, strength, constitution, agility, dexterity, empathy, intelligence, psionics, intuition, bravery, leadership, general technical aptitude GTA, mechanical aptitude, and electronics aptitude. Depending on the character class chosen, bonus points can be applied to these roles. The final number is compared against a scaled table resulting in a number between 1 and 19 for the personal characteristic. Characteristic roles CRs are then made on AD20 during play. Planet of Birth is made up of three roles for gravity, atmosphere, and climate. This could have effects on the personal characteristics, and some on the choice of race. Races could be human, humanoid, transhuman, pithocene, canine, feline, ursoid, avian, and warm blooded saurian for player characters. The races are general and don't necessarily bind to a particular star culture. They do though have prerequisites of personal characteristics, for example the canine races can not have technical aptitudes beyond a score of 14, and transhumans can not have any personal characteristics below 10. A variety of other capabilities, such as carrying capacity, damage factor, and stamina based on personal characteristics help to further define the character. In the career path the character goes through the recruitment process, participates for a 
random number of tours of duty, has opportunities for promotion, and then finally musters out, in some cases with severance pay, pension benefits, savings, and personal gear. There is no risk of death prior to the start of play. The last step is for the player to calculate the generous number of skill points available and to go through the process of picking skills and spending points on them to advance them. This is made the most time-consuming part of creating the character, not only because of the rich assortment of skills to pick from, but also because of the accounting of prerequisite basic skills needed for more advanced skills. For example, the first level of computer engineering requires physics, 6, math, 4, chemistry, 2, metallurgy, 2. Races In space opera races are treated very generally. Instead of assigning a unique name to a particular specific race, the races were named as their general, anthropomorphic stock. This allowed any race seen in fiction before or since to be simulated. PC player character races Avian, anthropomorphic bird races. Example, Brontetal or Garuda Canine, anthropomorphic canine races. Feline, anthropomorphic felines come in two general strains, mech per, the smaller and more technically adept and avatar, larger, hunting cat varieties. Example, Kazinti. Humans, these include current Earth Homo sapiens as well as all well-known biologically similar science fiction races. Example, Freeman Humanoids, representative of human races who evolved away from the basic racial stock due to evolutionary adaptations to the local environment, and are generally not genetically compatible with humans. Arrangement and even functions of internal organs differ. They may have adaptive extra organs, such as desert planet humanoids nictitating membranes and olfactory organs more sensitive similar to, sharks and blood to water. Pythocene, anthropomorphic primate races resembling gorillas and the like, tending to be more emotional and more easily excited. Example, Planet of the Apes Saurian, anthropomorphic warm-blooded dinosaur races. They are a cold-blooded group only empathically speaking, by human standards, with loyalty to race over family. Example, Gorn Transhumans, any kind of humanoid race which has achieved a greater level of evolution than humans, humanoids, more intellectually oriented, and with higher psionic aptitudes. Example, Vulcan Ursoids, anthropomorphic bear races. Example, Wookiee IRSOL, technically not a separate race, but any of the above races having fragile, taller and thinner frames for having evolved on low-gravity managed atmosphere orbital installations, such as space stations, dome cities on asteroids, or wandering, "...star cities." NPC non -player character races, Space Opera also included a much larger list of races for non-player characters and for encounters that consist of some meaningful contact Amoeboids Avian, Whistler Canine, Rauwolf Cold Planet Beings Feline, Avatar Feline, Mechpur Human Humanoid Istheoid, Clacken Istheoid, Merton Insectoid, Arachnoid Insectoid, Bug Insectoid, Scorpionoid Insectoid, Zakay IRSOL Pythocene Saurian, Hiss Silicates Transhuman, and Ursoid, Blarad 
Topic planet of birth characters could be born on a planet with any gravity field ranging from 0 g to 2.5 g characters could be born on a planet with many atmosphere types ranging from low or no atmosphere in dome cities to very high pressure atmospheres with or without some contaminants or partially exotic constituents Characters could be born on a planet with many climate types, type 1 standard Terran planet type 1 steppe planet type 1 arid planet type 1 desert planet type 1 swamp planet type 1 jungle planet type 1 tundra planet type 1 ocean planet type 2 Terran planet without seasonality type 3 Terran planet with extreme seasonality type 4 Terran planet with normal axial tilt at outer edge of stellar ecosphere type 5 Terran planet with minimal axial tilt tilt at outer edge of stellar ecosphere type 6 Terran planet with extreme axial tilt at outer edge of stellar ecosphere type 7 Terran planet with normal axial tilt at inner edge of stellar ecosphere type 8 Terran planet with minimal axial tilt at inner edge of stellar ecosphere type 9 Terran planet with extreme axial tilt at inner edge of stellar ecosphere type 10 Terran planet with eccentric orbit crossing beyond the outer ecosphere type 11 Terran planet with eccentric Eccentric orbit crossing beyond the inner ecosphere type 12 Terran planet with eccentric orbit crossing beyond the inner ecosphere and the outer ecosphere type 13 Terran planet up to 10% beyond inner ecosphere limit 13 sevenths, 13 eighths, 13 ninths type 14 Terran planet up to 30% outside stellar ecosphere 14 quarters, 14 fifths, 14 sixths type 13 Ellis, low pressure, managed domed environment, with with moon-like extremes of temperature type 14 Ellis, low pressure, managed domed environment, cold exotic atmosphere type 15 Ellis, low pressure, managed domed environment, close to primary with high radiation type 15 high pressure, managed domed environment, high surface temperatures type 16 far out from primary, noontime high temperatures minus 80 degrees Celsius to minus 185 degrees Celsius type 17 far out from primary, noontime high temperatures minus 185 degrees Celsius to minus 225 degrees Celsius type 18 far out from primary, noontime high temperatures minus 225 degrees Celsius to minus 273 degrees Celsius type 19 rogue planet, completely frozen type 20 gas giants with orbital positions indicated as 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019s where not noted normal 10 degrees to 30 degrees axial tilts are assumed, extreme minimums with the suffix A, extreme maximums with the suffix B, with the exception of type 2 and type 3 which are axial tilt categories. Example, type 12B Terran nightmare climate. Psionics. Some characters are able to use psionics, an advanced science with many fields of studies, three levels of functioning psionically dead, psionically open, psionically awakened and vast number of skills. Characters that were open and been psionically attacked or had contact with a raw PK crystal could awaken and learn skills by trial and error. Characters with very high psionic scores might be contacted and trained. Psionic fields included, telepathy 29 skills telekinesis 25 skills teleportation 4 skill clairvoyance 15 skills telegy and self-awareness 12 skills the force 11 skills Topic technology The technology of space opera follows the grand tradition of its name, as well as the lowest levels of tech possible notably missing are the influences of cyberpunk, mechs, and nanotechnology, which all came later than the publication of the game. Multi-computers were based on a monolithic, mainframe style that are meant to look after at least as many processes as the human brain takes care of for the human body, but for starships or cities. Space opera also includes mini-computers at higher tech levels that is comparable to smartphones of today. 
A vast variety of software for computers is available covering much of the significant knowledge of the race. The higher level multi comps MK, X to MK, 14 are considered sentient with cybernetic rights. Many other innovative sci fi technologies are included, for example, artificial gills, still suits, medical and anti aging drugs, electro binoculars, 1,000 light years range, ECM for communication and sensor scans, belt size personal force screen generators, power-assisted personal armor, grav, jump belts, robots of every type, laser, blaster guns, laser swords and lightswords, anti-robot positronic brain disruptors etc. Combat system Combat is generally a four-step process. One first determines if a character scores a hit with his chosen weapon. Things like range, size of the target, movement, and amount of cover come into play. If one scores a hit, then one rolls to determine hit location. After hit location, one then determines if the attack penetrated the armor. Finally, damage is determined. The full range of possible weapons technologies is covered, from the lowest tech level Atlathal, to the high tech Anti Robot Positronic Brain Disruptor. Guns and screens. Official universe While the space opera rules can be adapted to any imagined universe, the official universe was based on the nations described in Mark Ratner's Space Marines, and further defined through a series of star sector atlases. <laughs> Books The Space Opera core game consisted of two volumes and four double-sided 8 by 11 data sheets, in a box. There were three different box covers, probably corresponding to three printings, and the two core books were merged into one binding in the last printing, but the contents remained the same throughout. Reprints. Some components of Space Opera are in print again after a long absence and are available via FGU's online store and the RPG download sites DriveThruPeg and RPGNOW. The rights to the game are jointly held by the authors and Fantasy Games Unlimited, whereas the rights to the title were probably held by FGU solely. The rights to the game were to revert to the authors if the company went out of business. Despite going into dormant periods operating as a company in name only, FGU is still in operation. Ed Symbolist sought to buy the rights from the publisher Scott Bazaar, however Bazaar's asking price was judged too high. From a December 2000 interview with Ed Symbolist, I won't write another version of Space Opera. Scott Bazaar owns that property, hasn't done anything much to promote it, hasn't paid royalties that offer any hope that an author will be compensated for his considerable effort, and won't release it back to the authors. I know of the many persona L reverses he's experienced, and I doubt that FGU would ever become a viable publishing company in the future. Any revision work on my part would be a waste of time. Similarly, the expense of legally recovering the right to publish space opera isn't worth it. Apart from a highly inflated value placed by FGU on the game actually on the name, why would I wish to purchase several thousand copies of a recent reprint that just won't sell in the current market? It makes no sense. Reportedly the asking price was $100,000, though the authors felt it was only worth $10,000. <laughs> New work beyond 1980s 
Three new star sector atlases, No. 4 and No. 7, and No. 6 were published in 2014, 2016, and 2018. Reception Stephen Jones reviewed Space Opera in The Space Gamer No. 33. Jones commented that, "...despite its flaws, I highly recommend Space Opera. This game has the best of the other major SFRPGs on the market and more." William A. Barton reviewed Space Opera, Second Ed., in The Space Gamer No. 49. Barton commented that for those who liked space opera originally or for those who thought it had potential but were turned off by the typos, omissions, etc., the second edition is definitely worth having. See also Fantasy Games Unlimited Lists of fictional species